Hello, my name is Sysinic and I want to teach you everything I know about psychokinesis. A few days ago I participated in a live stream of... Oh, well, hello. Hello, good morning, good evening, or afternoon. <laughs> no, good. Well... You, you saw my name, so you probably know who I am, right? Yeah, how you been, man? <laughs> I, 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 I figured this was the, probably the only way I could get to talk to one of you, finally. Uh, <laughs> how you been? How's everything going? Not, 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 not too bad, not too bad. I've been trying uh, to get a hold of you for a long time as well, actually. <laughs> really? It was I wasn't that difficult to reach out, but uh. yeah, I've been just going through my own chemos. I've been going through a lot of uh, uh, treatments right now. And oh, I'm well. I'm sorry. No, sorry to hear. Part of life, but uh, yeah, everything is fine. It's all good. Just busy. It's quite cold over here right now, so it's like we're full full on winter. So, yeah. Yeah. but well, we're handling. Um, yeah, listen. Um, I don't really. I don't. I don't know. I don't. Have, I don't have anything. I don't have anything really. Talk to me. Huh? Talk to me. I don't have any. Any like. I. I, I didn't know how this was gonna go. But like, mm -hmm. I just. I just wanted to tell you that. Um, I am. I'm gonna post a, a video where I just kind of reveal this. Okay. That's fine. You don't and, have to if you don't want to. You know, huh? I mean, if you want to keep your identity safe and secure, you don't have to like, release yourself. We could keep it. Well, I, I, I kind of here. Listen, I, I have to do it. None of, none of my, none of my tricks are real. So eventually, right. I would have gonna, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to reveal it. People know, people know that I'm a performer. People know I'm a magician. That's good. This, I mean, everybody this, has this a profession. Was, it's fine. This was going, this was going to happen, but I'm also, uh. You probably, I don't know if you're familiar or not with the Magic Isn't Real channel, but uh, um, I'm letting that go as well. I actually have lost interest. Okay. Yeah, so I, we, we do have to move on in life eventually. You know, people who practice these telekinesis, psychokinesis, mind or matter, or trying to influence uh, on items, eventually it gets old. You cannot just be stuck to that. People have their own lives. We have to move on, continue our education or such. For instance, for instance, for me, I personally practice all this. I was a big um, skeptic about it, actually. I used to pick on mm -hmm. people. I used to do all this. I used to torment them because I never experienced it. Then um, then I feel like I experienced something. Maybe we could call it becoming spiritual or just becoming more aware of your surroundings and nature. You know, it could be, it, it could be anything. But uh, when you study science behind it, um, there's a lot of things that uh, the history did brought and scientific uh, instruments were used to understand these psychokinetic effects. But still, nobody, scientific community hasn't approved this. So there's a lot of skeptics behind it. But we eventually have to move on. I believe people who practice this, if they practice, like we would say monks, you know, they practice silence, you know, harmony with peace and all that. That's what I believe. But um, them practicing superpowers, I don't believe uh, that's a correct way to go because you could talk so you, to somebody and suggest them you're using your mental capacity to influence them, correct? So I believe so uh, it's the same way. I mean, everything is vibration, I guess. You know, your heart emits a specific waves. And when these waves emit, it could affect anything uh, on the external objects if we want to call it in a vibrational level, if we want, if we see it through a different perspective, but it's interesting. And, uh, but unfortunately people who become sick, who, who are, who are not healthy, uh, completely cannot uh, control their inner self, you know, your own body. We don't eat right. We don't have a nice, a good mentality. Then, uh, things could, um, uh, go off track you know not everybody could be in peace if your mind is distracted 
your brain waves is distracted, then um, you cannot focus on yourself. You can't focus on anything. You know, as we go on in life, we work in a job. I used to work for aerospace. I mean, I'm being open with you, transparent. I used to work for an aerospace company as an engineer, as an aerospace engineer. I worked on a Mars rover um, in, in my passing one of my projects. And um, eventually, I uh, I was all, my daughter got sick. This will actually got me because the doctors told me that um, uh, my daughter is going to be, what's that word? She won't be able to walk or move um, as she grow. So I thought, who are these doctors who, who could just say she's going to be a vegetable for the rest of your life? And um, I couldn't accept that. You know? I believe there's a higher power somewhere. Who decides maybe if there's an architect, something out there, if there's a God, you know, then I believe there's a higher power. Prayer works. Do you believe in, are you religious? If you don't mind me asking. Mm. I'm, no, no. Okay, so it's it's a different perspective. I mean, you could, you could, uh, you want to have. It's like you 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 should have a personality in your life who you look up to. You should have somebody, right? Like your father, maybe a father figure or a personality, Lincoln or someone. You look up to mm. somebody. You know, you listen to them, you observe them, and you try to follow. Okay, this guy, his way of life was a great way of life and i'm really inspired by this guy if i follow his way of life i mean uh, you know it's kind of like uh, becoming spiritual in a way no i i understand i understand the mindset and and uh, i'm i'm sorry to you about your daughter and you should definitely yeah. not give up like no, you should definitely open. you know i always wanted to be open yeah. with you but, yeah, you should you should definitely check for other opinions and stuff. Um, I guess my my as I said, I am moving on to other things. I'm becoming something else. I'm moving on, I'm becoming a performer. I'm busy with other stuff, but I do have a few questions. That it's it's just a thing that that it just it's bugs me. I'm sorry. Life. That's you're just moving that's, through life, right? I understand. That's there's certain things. It's who I am, and I can't help it. So I do have to ask you. You 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 saw that Siseni character on TikTok, and you sh and you shared my video yeah. on your page right. as a demonstration of telekinesis, but it's yeah. not. It could be. You know it's not. Right. And it's that's why everybody has to bring their own conclusions. I don't just throw out there, okay, look, this guy did something. You know, he's here. No. Bring your own conclusion. If there's a connection, is there a connection? But it's, it feels like there's you, a connection. And but you're a, a, you have students, right? You have people. I saw the group. You have people that, that, that listen to, have, to you. Yeah, yeah. It's just people who come who want to knowledge. And I share this knowledge from all old uh, or ancient knowledge, basically. It's not specific. Yeah, but now. this Vitor system and all that. It's just. Uh, but, but yes, we do. Senate we share our experience Senate. when we go through life. And okay, but experience. don't you. Mm -hmm. maybe, I'm, maybe I'm not explaining it properly, but like, don't you think it's an issue now? Now everybody's gonna know that that my stuff is not real. It's not the real okay. deal. It's fake. Which is and fine. you, That's yeah, but you I shared it. this conversation so I could get to know you. I think I asked you, tell okay. me about yourself. Tell me what do you hmm. really understand about energetics, if you understand any, or because uh, I like to get to know what you really experience. So when you get all this data, it's like okay, you take historical data. People who went through uh, through a scientific um we you know study over this there were lots of history that was there that actually you could find and people went through scientific instruments and all that and they try to prove but there's always skeptics because it's it's like playing boxing if you know boxing you know what to do if you don't know then it's a so you just throw in a punch in the air it'll hit or miss so mm -hmm. me trying to get to know you is understanding is it really real or not do you feel that it's really real or not I mean, some people do have experiences. Some people, maybe it could be an interaction of light. It is some kind of frequency, electricity. Now we're starting to say that the whole universe is electric, is electric universe. You know, the way we breathe, there's some kind of voltage in it. So if everything is connected, you know, you could become near a static light and you could get shocked by it, like static energy. Same way, if everything is connected, there could be a spooky effect. So me getting to know you, understanding your mi mi mindset, will tell me if it's really real or not. But people do have experiences. Maybe. Good. Okay. Yeah. And it. Sometimes you have to observe. Right but 
but then sometimes it could be wrong. Because I question myself all the time. Okay, was this real or am I going crazy? Like, um, uh, no, I'm that Create the reality. Let's do this. You see, concentration is very important. Unconditional love. Then I have sometimes my wife sitting, sometimes friends come, in, and they see. Then they observe me as we talk. We get into this. Um, uh, let me ask you something. Do you know when people meditate all together, they call it a collective thinking, a collective meditation? Do you believe in those kind of stuff? If, if I ask you, I, I, okay. Okay, here's, here's what I'm going to tell you. I have personally never experienced it. So my personal experience, I, I've never experienced. Maybe I will one day. This I don't know. You're um, very but and, uh, as, you're very as, far, as far as my knowledge goes, no, I don't. I, as of today, no, I don't believe in it. Okay, okay. Tomorrow, okay. who knows? We cannot change people's paradigm. That's the main thing. If, you know, people don't want to believe, you cannot force them to say you cannot believe this because this is, you know, but sometimes things aren't, it doesn't happen and we think it happens. You know, like everything you see is not really 100% real. You know, like, like you do magic. Everything you're showing is illusion, is a trick. You have techniques there that covers the other people's perception. And some mm -hmm. people out there, I mean, there used to be a program called uh, Believe It or Not back in the 80s or 70s. And they usually mm -hmm. actually do lots of testing, and uh, and that's where all these weird chi masters or people who go into silence they believe they can resonate this energy outside of their self. Like there's instruments there. If you go to uh, if you put this EEG um, the, these mind headsets, and uh, if you start understanding these brain waves, you could see you know, how when your brain waves shift your mind, your body start acting differently as well. So people, when they go to alpha state, the hypnosis people who teach hypnosis, they have to take you to an alpha state to open your subconscious mind and program it. They could program it where you can't even speak or say words or something. But if you believe in hypnosis, which finally got accepted, this is not hypnosing people, but it's almost the same method. You reprogram your mindset. You reprogram the brain in a certain way where you can influence others. You know? And this happens in hi hypnosis all the time. Now in Indonesia, what I understood, um, uh, in Indonesia, people are becoming victims of hypnosis without even speaking to them or showing them the whole framework. They literally talk to them for a little while. It's just a, something about touching them and, uh, and they become into a, they get into a trance. How is this possible? This makes no sense. The army, they talked about it. The news, if you call them, they talked about this. So they start developing this program in schools where they teach everybody working with their energy, energetic system, their chakra system, because they believe it so strongly, they believe it is possible. And now it is weird. I mean, this is all observation. Like I said, we all have to bring our own conclusion, what it is or what is not. And by the end, what they teach is the chakra system and through different ancient uh, technologies in the past. And they're using those. Sometimes they use uh, prayers or we call it some mantras, but they use mostly visualization. And they believe when they go into alpha brainwave state, they can emit this heart and mind synchronization and affect the external environment. So if you bring all this data and start understanding the science, and now we have quantum physics, now we're talking through quantum physics, we're talking about the electric universe, and this is new science, basically. So we still have five, 10 years to understand this more, but all this is being studied, and I believe there's a connection. Maybe everybody's not honed to it, 
because their mind and heart is not sync. They're disrupted. They're so distracted with the world. We have to pay our bills. We have to move on. So we really don't have time for peace within ourselves. So if we can't start within ourselves, how are we going to influence anything outwards? You cannot. People who are just waving their hands and showing there's some kind of wave effect and the whole aluminum foil is moving and waving. That's really bullshit, honestly. There's no connection there. Well, I'm not, you, you said it, not, not me. Yes, <laughs> right, right. I mean, basically, you know, they're, they're trying to convince others that they're doing something. But then look, when you're, when you're using your egotistic mind, even in psychology, they teach this, we get a big disconnection from the real, what is out there in, in a bigger picture. We become tunnel vision because we want to believe this and anything else is discredited. So when people practice their egos and just want to work on it, they supposedly block lots of their chakras or in their endocrine system, start with these chemicals start releasing. But either way, um, there's a disconnection there. And it's happening, people under understanding and uh, people who like to learn the ancient, these talk, you know, it helps them become peaceful. Sometimes breathing itself uh, bring peace to you. We have Wim Hof method, the ice man. Have you heard of him? Yes, I'm, I'm familiar with the breathing. I'm familiar yes, yes. with the... So with uh, the, when I was the, sick, like I said, I went the, to... I'm even familiar with meditation. Yeah, I've, right. I've, been, I've done it, I've yeah, done it before. Yeah. But I it's... it's I'm, I am more concerned mm -hmm. on... Maybe because it happened to me. Like, I'm more concerned about I don't want people... It's, what you're describing can can be can be also summarized as a really good mindset. I don't, I'm not against that. If you need to have this kind of mindset, if you need to, if you need to, uh, I, I don't know, move a piece of foil one hour a day because that makes you happy. Fine. Why? That's why I'm I'm not gonna continue the the magic is real project because I don't I don't I don't want to tell you people what bring, to do. You should at least you know once in a while bring out your stuff. It's really good, man. You really. But uh, hold on. It's, I'm I'm just concerned that. Mm -hmm. There are people out there who are taking advantage of this belief and they and they're gonna teach you things that are not. I mean, I, I could have started teaching. I don't I don't know, I don't know. It's everything I do, it's it's an illusion, and yet I could have I could have started teaching. Now yeah. I don't want to do it because You're I have a conscience. People. You're conscious, you know, you have your own consciousness. Yeah. You know? But some people, some people don't have that conscience. We know you you must know that there's some have some I fraud charge you to join my group. No, I'm not saying it's you. I, no, I'm not I, saying I it's you. No, I'm just asking one thing. Then I'm going to go forward after this. I don't charge people to come to my group. And this is I the fight that. I have against people or my previous partners that I work with. Because uh, everything is online now. You meet people. You understand them. I meet you. We understand each other. And then you, I go, I, I fly to different, I go to India. I go to, uh, I, I fly to different countries to meet people sometimes, you know. I have family all over the place, so I like to travel. But um, when you start understanding this, I, I lost my, my brain of thought. Uh, but uh, either way, when, when when we practice, I work with my past partners. My my main thing was to tell them, you have, if you're going to create something, you're going to charge somebody, you have to pay attention on creating quality students. Ch they want to change their mindset. They're looking for peace. That's what you need to give. This external environment, which is telekinesis, uh, psychokinesis, and all this, this is just a side effect of what you're honing within yourself. If you center yourself, your mindset, your heart and my and brain is synced together, and you start thinking clearly, you have clarity, you can focus right, you can hone into anything, anything you put your hand into will become gold. So when you your mindset and everything is fine and balanced, then you could affect the side effect that I'm talking about is the external environment. Now you could create your own world. You have a skill, you have understand. Now you could continue doing that in your way to create your own realities, which is, and we're not talking about ritual with the gold and stuff. I don't believe in that personally, you know, but still. So what, you, so what you're telling me is that if you... A good student if, should if, be able if, to if pick you can up. create people, people who like to believe this, people who like to learn magic from you, 
Okay, I'll take few students and I'll train them in my way. Some people don't get it. It's like, oh, I can't, it's, it's not possible. You know, I, I just can't do it. You can't just train everybody. You know, it's not, not everybody is in that same uh, level as you or when you're trying to train them as you experience. You want to give them as much as you can. Pay attention to them. You want to focus on them to create quality students. So when they leave you, when they start going out there, at least they give some kind of recognition or you could feel you know, I trained that guy and I trained him properly. I created quality practitioners. That should be your journey when you're teaching people or bringing awareness or however, when they come down to teaching. So same is, that's what I like to tell people. People, what I understood, I went through this. I studied the Wim Hof method. I study uh, different teachers. Like I said, I travel I, and not all of them are online and they don't like teaching because they know the negative impact when they get from ridicule, ridiculization and other stuff and and those people they tell me they respect me they tell me their techniques and all that and they say experience it because this is still good for your body and for your mindset when you focus within yourself things could change better you know and then you could have more clarity and move forward in life so with these people that you that you met you never met someone who was cheating I met a lot of people who were cheating. I met a lot of people who tried to join the class. And I said, okay, well, you like to join the class. Why would you like to? What is your intentions behind it? They're like, well, I want to learn telekinesis. Why do you want to learn? Why do you want to move something? What is your problem? Why? Why? Well, this is more like student stuff, but I'm, I'm talking about someone who, uh, uh, let's yeah, say okay. that I would have decided. Yeah, yeah. No, someone who's, someone who is, let's say that I'm a, I have a school, like I'm a teacher and I'm a school, but I'm obviously don't know what I'm talking about. And, and I'm obviously using, you know, parlor tricks. Like if you, let's say it's an hypothetical scenario, you come and visit me, you can tell that I'm not the, the real deal. What, what would you say? What would you have done? We would talk about it. I will respect their space. If they ask mm -hmm. me to keep it private, I will respect that. You know, I will respect that. I don't have nothing to hide. I like to be transparent with everybody. You know, I don't like to show myself. I don't know because I was going through the sickness this past years, and uh, but uh, I would respect them. I respect them all the time. People who ask me, please don't show my identity. I don't want to talk about it. And I, if people who interview, give me interviews. Uh, everything has to be per an agreement. If you like, it's fine. I'm going to ask you these questions. Is that okay? I don't want to exploit your privacy. You know, people still have their lives. You know, they still have a reputation. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, feel some for of, that for some reason. You know, and, some of them they make a living too, but right. uh, what about their students? But if if they are if, if they are betraying their students, I would advise them karma. If you believe in karma or you believe in if you're doing something bad, eventually it's gonna be payoff over here. Something will bad happen to you. Maybe I did something bad, maybe I didn't feed an animal or something, or maybe I let a child's hunger intentionally. And uh, I, I was getting paid for the sickness, probably, maybe, I don't know. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I passed half of my life and maybe I, we, we all do mistakes. So I, I'm, in my heart, I know if I do mistakes, hopefully I could make it better by giving charity. That's why I get free. If any, anybody can't afford, okay, let me give you free study. free studies. You know, it's for free for you. But the thing is, if you really want to learn, learn it. Don't just take it, steal it, and give it to someone else. No, your intention. That's why I want to talk to you, to all students or whoever wants to come. Let's talk. Let me see your levels. Maybe I could explain you. Maybe you could sense something. And if you could sense something, maybe um, you could learn from it. And But besides that, learn the philosophy behind it, why peace is important, why you have to be harmonized, why you have to have a good mindset, why you, you have to learn how to detach yourself from the world for a little bit so you can have time for yourself because we don't know we forgot how to shut down our minds you know a little two minute meditation will take you a long way you know a little peace of mind will help a lot you know and that's why relationships are ruined and lots of things are happening because people don't give time for themselves they can't see clarity anymore and this is what i like to teach them understand your chakras enhance it if the chakras are endocrine glands Learn to control them because this is your immune system. If you go, if you disrupt this, if something happens, then uh, you won't be stable. Eventually, you'll get sick. You'll have heart disease. You'll you'll you will have this, uh, problems within yourself, and then you cannot do nothing outside. Then you're just 
BS. But if people are fake out there and they're really teaching people just for the sake of profit, this is sad. This is really, really sad because it's not just taking their money. They should actually be teaching them and giving them time. People who said I could so, take okay. 100 it's, it's not the it's not that you say that. So I I I have to ask you this question now. Yeah. So what's 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 going on with it with what's going on with Ernest Vitter? I am not affiliated with them. It's been two, two, two and a half years now. I think more. I stopped. I, oh. I, re I released an announcement, a big announcement a while back. And I told them, oh, hey, okay. I, didn't. I have. Did you see why something happened? Did you see something? Uh, it's just because, like I said, I, I personally have a very small circle. I don't, I, I don't have the mental capacity to teach. 60 to 100 students at a time. I'm not going to put something, okay, repeat, 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 repeat. And then students are like, where the heck am I? Is anybody paying attention to me? Where's my teacher when I really need him? I don't need nothing on repeat. In that case, go to, you know, I mean, it's just, it's just kind of like yoga. Yoga used to be spiritual. Now is, now people use it for sport, which is okay. But it used mm -hmm. to be mystical, you know, back in back understanding philosophy, you know, through philosophy, through understanding. So it kind of raises your spirits, raises your. Oh, oh yeah, because I mean, you, you're, you're in California, right? I'm in California, correct. Yeah. So, yeah, yoga, yoga is very popular. Yeah. There, so I, 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 yeah, and I was raised, I was raised in India. I was born in the United States, by the way. I was raised in India. I was raised in Dubai. I was raised in Pakistan. So I, I learned six different languages. And uh, and through that, I I get a I I understand spiritually when uh, when I was in Punjab in India, and uh, a lot of spiritually, it's a lot of different religions there. So it kind of opens your mind to a lot of things. It's like okay, it makes you want to question, you know. So when you start so was, speak, okay. when you start so the, observing, so you, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. No, I'm just like so you telling me there was, I, I just want to finish with the Ernest Feeder. So you telling oh. me there was a disconnect. That's yeah, fine. yeah, yeah. Because I, I, I listen, I just. I just want to tell you, you can take this information, you can really? do with it whatever you want, but you seem you seem to have a lot of knowledge when it comes to the spiritual stuff. Like you know a lot of things. I there, can tell I, I can tell you passionate. Now. Yeah. I so, find, I used to be skeptic, but then just to find it, you have to really you have to experience it yourself, you, you know, to so, learn something. You have to dive in. And then you your, your, mind. your passion, your knowledge that you have is the same thing that I have with, with magic, not, not your magic, my magic. And uh, again, this, I don't have any proof, but I watch Ernest video, Ernest Vitter's video a lot. And I, I know a magic tricks when it's a magic, trick. like with, with, with a, with a 90% guarantee. And not just me. I have, I have friends who are top on the top in the country. They are they are top billing magician. We're talking people who went to Penn and Teller fool us. Like we yeah. we we know a magic trick when we see one. We are not we're not amateurs. We it's the same knowledge that you have with the spiritual stuff. We have it on the magic. And uh, I could place a bet that that most of it. I haven't seen everything, but most of his stuff. It's it's not real. <laughs> it's just what it is. I mean, the way you brought it out and you brought out how this can't be real is very interesting because that's when it started opening people's mind. Hey, this could not be real. So mm -hmm. who is the person behind the mask? If why this person wants to cover his face, maybe he has some kind of uh, accidental problem. He don't like to show his face or whatever the reason. Some people in the past time, they say, we don't want to show our face because that's how shamans used to attack each other to images, you know, black magic stuff and all that. Not sure how far that goes, but uh, anything, you know, in that case, there's pictures all over the place. Everybody should be moving to each other, but still. Uh, yeah. You know, social media. you know what I mean? But, you know, it's interesting. Not that difficult to find pictures. If it is, if it is, then shame on them. I will tell you that. What I experience. I don't really want to go out there and say, hey, look, guys, I did this. No, there is no I. This is just observation. What an answer you're getting from the universe, if you want to call it, the, you know, uh, but is you feel like you emit something, like something, you know, it's kind of when you sense heat, when you start becoming sensitive to some a certain way of development, you can start sensing things. Like you could bring your hand, not even touch the wall, but you could sense electricity. You could sense heat you can sense the coldness 
So these nerve fibers that you develop, and this is a connection from your mind to your hand because this is all the nervous system connected, the meridian system. So when you, when you start learning this and honing this, then then you you can develop. But if people is out there, uh, uh, it's like I tell people, you want to know how to find a real master or a teacher or uh, or advisor, guide, okay. follow your it. intuition and make sure you ask as much as question as possible. Eat his That's brain. advice. Because if you don't ask question and you're just following a video over and over, you know, it, it's going to take you so far. It's going to block your subconscious mind more than anything. You know, it's just like mathematics. Uh, you play a Rubik's Cube. I'm sorry. You play a Rubik's Cube and it'll, it'll develop your mathematical, uh, your, uh, your analytical me mentality. If you play a Rubik's Cube, that's something about the brain. Just playing that, it, it, it helps you mathematics. Same with there's different techniques to develop those. But still, if people don't ask questions and don't follow their intuition and, and ask their teachers or mentors these questions, and if there's no, no response coming back, then there's something fishy in there. That's what I have to say about all teachers in the world who wants to teach pyrokinesis, levitation, God knows whatever kinesis, you know. All this is my, my mind energetic, energy. Your heart emits a wave. Your mind and heart is synced together. You could, with visualization, you can. Uh, sportsmen, they use a lot of visualization just for basketball, and they, they, they just visualize what's going to happen, and they map it out, and when they practice it, it happens. So there's a connection there, visualizing. So if the heart and mind works, if there's a, these uh, in, uh, in the world is happening where people are getting biohypnotized or mind takeover, whatever they call these, then probably there's something there that we should observe. And by that, we have to train ourselves. But if people are faking it, uh, shame on them, actually. People who come to me and say, I bought their course, I bought them, but they never uh, reply to me. And uh, they say, well, all that answer I get, you get what you paid for. Nothing enlightenment in that. Yeah, it's expensive. Some That's, some of them, they charge. Yeah, I mean, if people want to come to me, I'm going to take time away from my daughter and my family to give them hours of time. So I could go in their level, understand them, and try to make them understand and feel it. Make them learn something. I will give devote my time to them. So I guess people who will ask me, I'll ask them, maybe I'll charge you a little fee. They'll buy my daughter some bread or something, you know, just for kind of like yes, if I'm gonna I mean, learn some you, magic you from think, you. If you're taking time out of your day, that's absolutely yeah. I mean, understandable. I mean, there's there should be either people call it energetic exchange, you know. Yeah, people want to come. I said, come to my house. Come to my house. Oh, no, if you take, work with yeah, me. Yeah, no, if you take in... Yeah, I, I tell people, come to my house. You know, since <laughs> I got cancer and all this, I start working with beekeeping. I, I is I'm not gonna lie to you. I was the doctor gave me six months. They told me get your affairs straight. On the third month, I was very weak. I lost like 65 pounds or, uh, in two weeks, and um, I was just you know going through these last moments or whatever. And I start dreaming of bees. I was like, I, I try to do good in life, but if I'm if I'm gonna die, let me just maybe save bees. I could do that. I'll save bees. I'll maybe a chain reaction will help the world, save the world. So this is my way to contribute to the world. So I started with bees. The doctors gave me six months, but as they stung me, I was swollen, and uh, and I was swollen, and I was and uh, and as they stung me, I de swell. So something about it, I was still getting so vivid dreams about them that pushed me to get them. And I'm that guy who's scared of bees. Run, I run the other way. But I said, I'm, I'm leaving. So as they taught me, and I was sensitive to, you know, I see them. I study a lot about them. And now I know NASA. NASA and the Mir Station, they have a bumblebee picture there because they don't understand the phenomena that a bee hums first, levitates, and then flap his wings and fly. That's something that. we're still trying to, but because of that phenomena that we see in bees, they have a, a bee out there. And it's very inspiring to me, but this is my way of life now. I teach people about beekeeping. I tell them you want to come learn. It's fine. People want to learn telekinesis or whatsoever. I say, I could teach you, I tell you everything about it, what I understand through my experience. So come over, 
I'm not hiding. I don't have nothing to hide. Come over. You don't have to pay me. Help me with some beekeeping. My back hurts too. So, you know, so that's an energy exchange right there. What I would call it energy, energetic exchange, work to work or however people like. But people are going to charge you and not guide you and misguide you or not care about you just because of the sake of profit. That's shameful because this is not meant to make profit. This is something that knowledge should be out there, you know, not in everybody's hands because people who wants to fake it, wants to use this in wrong means as many people do out there um, it just messes up for everybody it's kind of like if people who believe in bigfoot or there's something out there sasquatch neanderthal or god knows what you know there are people out there with you know just faking it and it just ruins for the whole community because what's real and what's not it questions people and there's doubt and it, and it's just things like this shouldn't be profitized it should be more guidance uh, consult I, I, I think I think I I think uh, uh yeah I think I I, I can I agree with you. I could be this. wrong, but you know. No, I don't know. It's it's a it's a good point, and I think if they come to your house, you should charge them. That's for sure. But uh, I won't be charging like it's 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 come to me like you were talking right now. You come to me. I'm not gonna charge you. You come over here. We're talking. Have a good time. I won't. Most of the time, I don't even charge people. You came to my house, man. You're my guest, so you come here. We work with bees. I show you a different world out there. That's really connected. And that's what it is. Have a good set of mind, have a good mindset and learn, you know, chakras Listen, we have a, where you could I know that huh? I know we have like a, f a few minutes, but I think okay. this, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy with this exchange. I just wanted to tell you, I, um, Don't I'm going to post this video. I'm going to post this video and I'm going to tell that all of my stuff was, uh, um, uh, they were illusion. They were magic tricks. So okay. hopefully, hopefully but, people won't be too, too right. upset. Uh, no, you can really. tell you can tell your students as well that you know I'm just I'm just a magician. It's okay, you that can even stay all... in that group, man. You just observe. Was... You become an observer. When you observe, I things, can. It, it, if you if you want, if you anyways. if you if you let me stay, I'll stay. I'll keep an yeah, eye every I, once I, in a while. I don't mind, man. Um, I mean, I, but like I'm definitely. I said, you don't have to tell people that you're quitting. Don't you're you're giving people the satisfaction that they want. Don't. Oh no no no! I'm moving. I'm moving. Negativities. You I'm moving to much, to much better things. I mean, I just wanted to show, I just, I'm just hoping that me showing that that wasn't real. I just want people to be more cautious, especially yeah, on social exactly. media. They should. It's, it's so easy to, to deceive you on social oh, no. media. So hopefully they will see my thing as a, as a lesson that can show you don't, don't trust people on social media on the first exactly. video, on the first thing. Like you said, ask more questions. Ask questions, so maybe understand they, and follow your intuition. You have that sixth sense. Everybody have that sixth sense, that gut feeling. When you like, when you your gut feeling say this person is fake as heck, you know, then you you want to investigate. You want to make sure. So you ask that person question. You talk about Eve Ernest. Contact them. Get a hold of them. Try to get an interview with them. You know, he wants to show the world that he is not fake. Then go out there, talk to him, have an open mind. Have an open conversation. I believe he'll, if he's the guy, then he should have no shame of talking to you. Because okay. we'll see. if there's something to prove or not to prove or bring aware that, okay, there is not everything is possible, but something could be possible. Then let's sit down and talk about it. Pick the brains and understand his mind. What perspective are you bringing out here? that people want, really wants to buy it, if this is really true or not. People, when they send me videos, uh, I send this video to a third party who does authentication stuff, you know. So sometimes I get it back, okay, it's good, sometimes it's inconclusive. So I like to use those routes to make sure if people are not faking it or not. Because there's people out there, uh, I will not like to say names, but there's people out there who does look, oh my God, what the heck, for, for a regular, my, a, a layman person, a regular person, he'll be surprised, like, this is real. But you could, people who have experience, who have the eye for it, they know. It's like, mm -hmm. come on. You know what I mean? I usually. So I usually. I, and I, that's why I respect you. And I, I really, in the beginning, it was interesting. You know, it was bringing all the different type of emotions, like, ah, oh, okay. But then when you sit back and think about it, it's like, actually, he's doing a good job. He's going to expose people who are here only for profits. Wow, it was also... Be like that. 
And I was also trying to, to be entertaining, you know. When you're trying to be entertaining, you, you yeah. become a parody of yourself. Right. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's funny. I love your your sense of humor. is amazing. But, you know, I mean, uh, uh, it gets better, you know. You will shuffle out the real people and the fake people from out there eventually. And um, hopefully, you know, people who are trying to really teach people, you know, uh, they could continue and teach people. That's why a lot of people who really study this kind of stuff, they don't show themselves out there because they knew they know there's more negative people out there than positive. But the po the negative people who want to profitize off of these kind of stuff, they will just go out there and it's just horrible. And sometimes people, you if you try to help somebody, Sometimes people use that against you because you help them and uh, make you look bad because you might have the